finished rank 80 in my last HUD champ, so I'd say I'm a decent player. Um, I'm, a, I'm about top 100, top 200 player, maybe 150 if you want to cut it in half. I finished pretty good in every one, just depends on who I match up against, but here it is. We got 122 aggressive, 122 red, um, not half, one more than halfway aggressive, contained puck. So, um, tight point, large box, umbrella, this all the way to the left, three high, carry option, leave zones early, and standard. This is the type of player, if you're kind of like a run-gun guy, not a cycle guy, and that's kind of how I play, um, and I like the, this like that, this like that, this like that, this like that, I play crash the net, no one really ever plays crash the net, and I want this all the way to the left, all the way to the left. Yeah, and then I don't know if this really matters, but I have it all at gray. And here's my stats. In case you need to look at this, I just got rid of a couple, like three, three players out of the lineup. But we got Sveshnikov, we got Nikus. These guys would be more than point per game, but Nikus, when I had him in the lineup, he was like a. 84 <laughs> like he went up all the way up to a 92 so like he's a point per game player for sure um point this, this is the best card in the game bro 86 points 122 games 81 plus minus like come on morrison hubert doe sagan's pretty good caprick best card too he's fucking tearing it up marner pelota check has been really good too. It doesn't look like it because I played really bad in my Hut Champs games, but all these cards are Hut Champs like games, so like stats aren't going to be like squad battles. And this is like 76%. I mean, looks awful. But this is 333 Div 1 Hut Rivals and Champs games because I haven't played one squad battle or one Hut Challenge, so just think of it that way. They're all sweaty games. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos like this and peace.